Virgo, welcome to this Just In Time Tarot reading and if you are watching this Virgo, trust that there is a message here for you and that message Virgo begins with the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Gemini can often bring answers through conversation, sometimes through thought, but usually the spoken word and it's full moon energy. So maybe the answers you need are coming to see the full picture or to bring so something to completion, bring something to conclusion or to come to a conclusion. Information and answers is coming. Maybe you're waiting for an answer from somebody else. All right, let's go to the Oracle of the Angels. And we have to build on this message, never alone. So you're really being uh, asked to trust that your angel spirits guides are with you and guiding you. Now, if you get some kind of powerful idea or insight, that is your angel guide literally standing behind you tapping on you, you on the shoulder and giving you some kind of information or answer they are with you all of the time so that is a beautiful message there virgo let's uh, grab you some tarot cards now i'm working with the moon child tarot from danielle Knoll, one of my favorite decks not sponsored but happy to be if you're watching this danielle okay let's keep this serious first card out is the hermit virgo that is your card that is absolutely your major arcana right there and it feels like okay a few things here You've either been going through a deeply reflective period, trying to make maybe some big decisions for your life, okay? Um, some of you might have gone through a health challenge or a mental health challenge with this card. And, you know, you've been trying to search for the answer, you know, so that you can move into the healing phase. Um, others of you are trying to find the path to purpose or the path out of something here. But, you know, you've needed some kind of insight. You've needed some, some kind of clarity. Now, the answers you need are coming and you're very close to the threshold of being able to exit this phase that you've been going through and move towards the sun energy overcoming that struggle or challenge entering into a bright positive new chapter so sometimes with the hermit uh, it's spiritual awakening energy as well and yes the answer could come through your own wisdom here as well that's likely your guides dropping it in, but it feels like our own wisdom. Now, you might be wondering whether to sever ties with an organization or a partner or somebody that you're doing business with, maybe. You might have had a heartbreak or a big disappointment or loss, right, or hurt, or maybe some trouble with your own heart here, and maybe you've been really trying to make some life changes, some life decisions here. If you are, you know, making a decision around an ending here, the answers you need are coming, but you are being asked, Virgo, to really go within, okay, and to look at the bigger picture here, the bigger journey and what you want for your life, okay. I've got the five of pentacles and there might be fear one of a financial implication if you're leaving work or leaving a relationship here, then there might actually be uh, you know, that might actually be true. You might need to actually release something to gain other things. Know that you'll rebuild down the track. There might also be a fear here of actually being alienated or isolated or being on your own. But remember, you are never alone. Your spirit team is with you and they will guide you to your soul family in your next chapter. The fives are all about a really critical point of change here in your life. Okay, and sometimes we have to go through the hard bit to get to the good stuff. Now, Eight of Swords is here and I think that you've been trying to think your way through the situation and on paper logically it doesn't make sense because you keep coming back to the five of pentacles there's going to be a loss but why don't we take a different perspective here there is so much to gain try not to get swept away in the overthinking and the mental overwhelm instead feel your way through the situation feel into the possibilities and the potential for bonds for your life 
Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck because Spirit is saying whatever you feel that you will lose, you will rebuild and you will regain maybe fourfold here with the Four of Wands. If you're seeing 11-11, Spirit is trying to send you answers in that moment. So think about exactly what was crossing your mind at that time. This is an, actually an important milestone for you towards greater happiness, um, maybe even greater financial times, greater times in love what you don't know Virgo is that you will down the track look back and celebrate this because you will be in a happier situation you'll be growing you know new abundance new love and all of the good things it's time for you to come out of that hermit phase and make a really good decision for yourself and know that the answers you need are coming and they may come through your intuition as dropped in by your angel and spirit guides they're trying to lead you towards a happier outcome here that's what i have for you virgo hope you enjoyed this message hope it gave you some clarity and guidance if you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances first link down below will take you to my website where you can check those out and do follow along on instagram for daily readings and i'm doing free little mini personal readings over there from time to time you will need to be there and checking my story for when i put the call out just wishing you all the love and magic virgo do take care Bye for now.